All right, Shalom Rastafari. We want to touch on this exquisite painting that was commissioned by Moa Anbesa Zemnegeti Yehuda, Kadamawi Haila Selase, Siyuma Egeziadiher, Nugusa Neges Ze Ethiopia, our Godfather and King of Kings, Kadamawi Haila Selase, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Now, this actually also connects with, um, with the Ark of the Covenant. In other words, we can look at it in, in um, two ways, in the Old Covenant, and we can look at it in the New Covenant. Really, we have been looking at it mainly in the Old Covenant, making brief uh, allusion or um, um, analogous uh, comparisons but not really getting into the, the, the root of it. It's now time for I and I to go from low degrees to higher degrees in our consciousness and spiritual overstanding. I want to touch on this particular artwork again because I love art, right? And I love good art. And I love art, Ethiopianist art, right? Our divine heritage art and um, looking at all the different um, imaginations of what um, and even whitewashing of our black mother of Kedistin Gilmaria and finding this particular painting that was commissioned by the King of Kings and then studying it because if you're going to commission our father our Holy Father, Abba Kedus, Kedus, Kedus. If His Majesty commissions a, a work of art, then it's very important who he has commissioned, who, who, who received that commission. And if I'm correct, I think that this particular art is Afawark, Afawark uh, Tekla. It seems like his style, like you can notice one style, like you may, in, in, in the, in the, in the, uh, Italian Renaissance and, 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 the, and, the, and the papacy, you have to recognize this is a medium of communication. And when you go to museums, this is also on I and I to-do lists, but we need the assistance and cooperation of our co-laborers, our brothers and sisters, um, and, and other branches and churches, and, and I encourage you highly, my brothers and sisters, and I know many still are desirous to have reasonings, and we're seeking to build up the networks, use these uh, technologies towards that endeavor. But before going off into that, well, let's just touch on this particular subject matter right here concerning our sacred artwork, because this is our cultural heritage. It's, it's, it's the legacy. It's the legacy of holy Ethiopia. This, this art right here is 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 purely indicative. It's an indication of exactly that. Let's let, let us zoom in for a moment in this particular artwork and and really get it a little bit larger and start to study some of the features. Well, for for right now, let's go right here. Okay, so this is this Dingle Maria. All right, now, this Dingle Marium, when we get into the literature, because we also are publishing and, and, and printing books, um, and certain rare books and important books, and, and many of y'all or you all, Wendemoch, Hitoch, and families out there have been ordering the different um, books especially, and this is why we want to go into um, some of these books here, and we have two books in front of us, and we might not be able to, in this particular recording, go through all of the, you know, go through all of it, because our heritage is very, very rich. It's like a food, and when we eat it, of it, it's very rich. But while we eat, not to be gluttonous, but to be able to taste and and to give praise for the for the taste, the flavor, the 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 spirit of God that we are able to discern, right? You know, that we're able to discern. So as the as the mouth taste the food and the quality of the taste as the ear uh, weighs and also tastes words, our eyes, if we make our eyes single 
as the Moshiach, as Yeshua, as our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, in the Wengale and in the Gospels, has testified and instructed us to. What a wonderful new world, the true world, right, of the King of Kings and his Christ that we are able to perceive. So this is on Haile Selassie's Black Madonna, right, and the Ethiopian, when we speak of the Ethiopian Renaissance. What is a Renaissance? Right, see, a Renaissance art is so very important, art and culture, art and fact. So this is art, but what is the facts about it? Not just the creation of it, but what idea are we to receive as we mature and as we grow in spiritual overstanding, all right? So I have the Queen of Sheba and Only Son, Minulet. I want to go to some of these texts right here, and this might be a, another teaching series on, on the 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 implications would that be a correct word or the um understanding overstanding see the see this in I'm, I'm i'm going to the beginning of this okay here we go it's uh the kubra nagas the glory of the kings and it's the preferred um um, Sir E. A. Wallace Budge, Star of Ethiopia, third class um, version, right here, and it speaks right here. Let's go, let's go to chapter one. In praising God the Father, the, the Sustainer, the glory of kings. In praising God the Father, the Sustainer of the universe. And praising Jah the Father, the sustainer of the universe, and his son Iesus Christos, Jesus Christ, through whom everything came into being, and without whom nothing came into being, and the holy, the Isla Triune Spirit, the Triune Irid, the Paraclete, the Paraclitos who goeth forth from the Father and deriveth from the Son, we admit or believe it has a nominal and amen in and adore the Trinity, Salase, one God, Ahadu Amlak, the Father, Ab, and the Son, Weld, and the Holy Spirit, Menfesu Kedus. Chapter 1, Concerning the glory of kings. Now, 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 note this, please, my brothers and sisters, that this particular art that you, those who are seeing the video and the, and the, the video version of this, because some might hear the audio version of it, right? But those who are seeing the video version of it, this particular art was commissioned by the king of kings. And, and this tells us a whole lot. You know, this is why they have museums. This is why there's art appreciation as one study art. And although I can, I can give this understanding, overstanding, turgum interpretation, others can give other interpretations of this very same art and still it be right and exact. It's like there are how many degrees in a circle? 360. But what we're touching on here is the core, is the core ingredient of our divine heritage. Right? Remember, um, Sister Kalunji has the album, and it's called right here. Here we go. Let's bring this in. Black Woman and Child. We originally wanted to uh, we originally wanted to touch on this. How, how there's a link here between um, Black Woman and Child, right? Between the Ark of the Covenant, right, and between the Ethiopian or the Black woman, right? So let's let's touch on this, the black woman. But what is that link? You see, a lot of our brothers and sisters, because of a lack of uh, the, the the right knowledge, have you know searched everywhere and might get caught up in some of the the so-called new age philosophy. You know, where we we're, we're forever learning, learning everything instead of going to our true root, right? Where we're promoting every other kind of art. Right, instead of our true art, right, our true art. 
Well, let's let's continue right here before we go off and um and, and preach on that particular matter. Though I know some will be willing to hear I and I preach first. Let's deal with the teaching of His Majesty. So this is chapter one of the Kibra Neges concerning the glory of kings. The interpretation and explanation of the three hundred and eighteen Orthodox fathers concerning splendor and greatness and dignity and how Egeziabiher Lotusabhat, the sustainer, gave them to the children of Adam, and especially concerning the greatness and splendor of Zion, of Zion, the tabernacle, tabot, of the law of God, the law of Egeziabiher, of which he himself is the maker and fashioner in the fortress of his holiness, his islandness, if you please, before all created things, both angels and men, for the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit with good fellowship and right good will and cordial agreement together may the heavenly Sion, Samayawi Sion, to be the place of habitation of their glory, the place of habitation of their kubr. Now, see, this is very important. This is very important because it says, for the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the triune God, the Salase Amlak, with good fellowship and right goodwill and cordial agreement, together made the heavenly Zion to be the habitation, which means the dwelling place of their glory. Now, those who study the Rastafari sabbatical studies with I and I and the Torah readings and feedings, you know that we have um, completed um, in this cycle of Torah readings and feedings, we have completed Shemot or Orit the Sa'at, the Torah or the Orit of the coming out known as Exodus. Now, in Exodus, we find the building of the tabernacle. We find the, the furniture of the tabernacle, of the holy place, um, the dimensions, the, the, the fabrics, the, the metals. And as we have taught that these all have, they all have signification. They all have significance, right, a, a spiritual significance. And although some would look at the, the outer level, it's time for I and I to look at the, the inner level, to get into the inner sense, right? So we can be insiders in the will of the King of Kings and his Christ, right? So we can fulfill his will so that we overcome, so that that which is written of the Kedusan is and becometh our inheritance, our divine heritage. See, in the Ethiopian World Federation, the preamble and the Constitution, this is what it's, this is what it's talking about when it's speaking about our divine heritage because as we learn and as we grow, right, as we meditate on these things, our wrong thinking, our worldly thinking, before we were called, before we answered the call of his majesty in Christ, the call of Rastafari, our, our, our brain begins to rewire itself, right? But that, that can only happen through a discipline, a discipleship. That means consistency. One who seeketh mastery, the scripture says, is, is, is temperate in, in all things, my brothers and sisters. So in moving forward, and then the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit said, let us make I and I make man in our similitude and likeness. Let us make man in our similitude and likeness. And with ready agreement and goodwill, they were all of this opinion. All right, so this is explaining actually the first, uh, the first book of Musa which is known as the Reshit or Orit Zet Sitavet, the Torah of the creation. 